the gas stop in Macabre's channel. So this video is about how to repair a small leak on an AC condenser. What happened was, one of the edges of the mesh came loose, it came undone, and the vibration caused it to rub a small hole on the AC condenser, thus creating a leak. It was very small, but obviously the system is under pressure, so it ended up losing all its refrigerant. Needless to say, I had to evacuate the whole thing, and now I'm going to fix it. I may as well take the opportunity to do the video in case you guys end up with the same situation or maybe a rock hits your condenser, a sharp object, you name it. It could happen to anyone. So let's get this video going and I'll show you how I'm going to fix this thing. So I already mentioned that it was the edge of the shield that rubbed the hole in one of the fins. And it was right here. Uh, the reason why it looks like this now is because I used pliers to pinch it so it's going to be easier to fix. I'm going to go ahead and do it right here on the car. I'm not even going to take the condenser off. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean it with brake cleaner. Next step, I'm going to use compressed air to blow the excess brake cleaner off. So next step, I'm going to use this water brush to make sure the material sticks. You don't have to use a power brush. A regular water brush will work. Next step, I'm going to apply a light coat of flux to it. Using a brush. Next step is apply heat with a torch. Don't need to apply too much heat because I don't want to create problems with the other fins. If you end up doing it like I'm doing it, without removing the condenser, make sure you don't overdo it on the heating, because you can melt the radiator that's on the other side. So I have a light coat over the fin, right where the hole was. So I'm going to pressurize to make sure that there are no leaks. This is what it looks like up close. I know it's kind of hard to see really well in there because... So now we're going to pressurize. I added one can of refrigerant and I shut the car off and right now obviously both gauges are equalized and that's how it's supposed to be when everything is off so they're both at 100 obviously once I restart the car then the low pressure will go a lot lower and the high pressure will go higher and we're gonna go look back at the repair let's put some more Windex on it and no bubbles everything appears to be right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish charging the system so if you look at the thermometer that I have on this vent, it's nearly 100 degrees. And once I finish adding the correct amount of refrigerant, the temperature should go down all the way to 40. There the compressor kicked on. And the temperature obviously is dropping. Because the air conditioning is working. And it will continue to go down, but I'm going to stop filming from the inside because, of, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish recharging the system. Alright, so I got the RPMs about 2500 and look at our thermometer. It's right there at 40 where it should be. So now we're going to look at the pressures outside. So we see a high pressure right around 325. So we already said that our temperature right now is 100 degrees, so our high side needs to be in between 315 and 325, so it's a 325, a 2500 RPM, so obviously once I lower the RPMs, it will go down to about 315, so that'll be perfect. So now let's look at our low side, it needs to be in between 50 and 55. And there's our low pressure, right at 50, 